iOS 6 and Tether jailbreak coming on December 22nd. Google CEO Larry Page talks to Motorola Nexus. And Samsung CES event apparently doesn't have to do with smartphones. I'm Jaime Rivera, wondering who still jailbreaks their iPhones anymore. And this is Pocket Now Daily. That's right, an anonymous hacker that claims to have worked at one of the dev teams that we knew and love in the past will apparently release an untethered jailbreak for iOS 6 that works on all the new chipsets, including the ones that power the iPhone 5, the iPad mini, you name it. It's kind of interesting to see that jailbreaking has dropped in popularity in the past couple of months for no reasons apparent, and we could just wonder who this guy would be. The jailbreak would be launched on December 22nd, and we're putting our money down on this guy being Comex after being fired by Apple, though it could also be Scott Forstall. Now, even though we know about Samsung's January 8th event at CES Las Vegas, CNET just came on record to state that Sammy will not be releasing a phone on this event. And the problem is when you have a company like Sammy that manufactures everything but the kitchen sink at your home. So the question is, what could we get? This is perfect timing for a Samsung Galaxy Note 7, and we know this would be the perfect form factor for a Note device, so we could be surprised. Now, even after some rough financial times, HTC has just launched another smartphone to the world. This time it's being called the One SV, and even though it doesn't have the best bells and whistles when it comes to spec, it does sport 4G LTE, and it does have a very simplistic and actually cool design. No word on when it'll reach the United States shores, but most likely CES will be the date. Now today has been full of some great coverage, starting off with Joe Levi's recent video of how to run CM 10.1 on your Nexus 10, so make sure you follow the links in the description. And make sure you also watch Brandon Miniman's full treatment of After the Buzz for Apple's fourth generation iPad, which brings compelling reasons on why you really shouldn't upgrade to this iPad and probably wait for the next generation iPad to come next year. Aside from that, last week we did a lot of coverage when it came to After the Buzz for the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, and also for the iPhone 5 when it comes to my my case, so make sure you watch the links in the description and tell us what you think about the videos in the comments down below. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, Google CEO Larry Page just sat down with Fortune to talk about mobility. A lot of the talk had to do with Motorola, their recent acquisition, and why we don't have a Nexus device being built by Motorola. According to Larry Page, the only reason why we don't have this device yet is because they haven't owned the company enough time to actually reach that goal. So that leads me to the question of the day. After the Nexus 4 being the not so hot phone that we expected, what would you think about a Motorola Nexus device? Device. In my particular case, I would love the Kevlar backing on the Razer design on a Nexus device, but the problem is the Razer lineup hasn't really been that hot, so probably my impressions wouldn't be the best, so leave us a comment down below. What would you like? And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on parkingnow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.